feel free to pause the video. I wanted to get to this point. Sorry, I'm going too fast if you want to read that. Look at this. Here's a list of companies and brands that are either owned by Monsanto or are known to use genetically modified seeds by Monsanto. Aunt Jemima, Aurora, Banquet, Best Foods, Betty Crocker, Bizquick, Campbell's, Carnation, Coca-Cola, ConAgra. Now that's huge. That's big. Duncan Hines, Famous Amos. Frito-Lay, General Mills, there's another huge one. Green Giant, there's a big one. Healthy Choice. Hershey, that's a big company. Look at this, man. Just look, Lean Cuisine. Healthy Choice and Lean Cuisine. Owned by Monsanto. Morning Star Farms, great name. Oh, Lucifer Star of the Morning. Pepsi, Coca Cola, Pepsi, Philip Morris. Yeah. No conflict of interest there. I'm Philip Morris and Healthy Choice. <laughs> Look at that. Procter and Gamble, that's a big old company. Printable list of Monsanto owned food producers. Hmm. Let's see here. Here we go again. Now, this doesn't say owned or using their seeds, genetically modified seeds. This says outright printable list of Monsanto owned food producers. It's virtually the same list, it looks like, mostly. I haven't really compared line by line, but first several look very familiar. Aunt Jemima, Aurora Foods, Banquet, Best Foods, Betty Crocker, Bisquick, Cadbury, Campbell's, Capri Sun Carnation, Coca-Cola, ConAgra, Duncan Hines, Famous Amos, Frito-Lay, General Mills, Green Giant, Healthy Choice, Heinz, these are all on that other list. Mm-mm. How the hell am I supposed to eat healthy? Ragu, Pringles, uh, Procter & Gamble, again, Pepsi, Pepperidge Farm, Oroville, Redenbacher, Nature Valley. Because I'm sure Monsanto was so concerned about Nature Valley and best foods and Monsanto just loves the healthy choice I'm sure so what the hell am I supposed to eat if I can't eat any of that stuff What if you found out that your favorite brand isn't safe? Oh my god, get the hell out of here. Isn't safe and family friendly. As its colorful brandings make it out. Hmm. What if? Most food companies have humble origins, that's true. And many have followed authentic family recipes. That's true, too. 
They are often forced to move towards heavy processing as they grow, including the addition of preservatives, flavoring agents. Why would they need to add flavoring agents? Just because your business is growing doesn't mean you need to add flavoring agents. And artificial coloring to increase shelf life. Oh, mm, sure. Consumer appeal. Wait, 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 wait. All in one sentence. To increase shelf life, comma, consumer appeal and profit. Hmm. So they're not concerned so much about the shelf life. It's consumer appeal and profit. Even if the food brands have managed to avoid these ingredients, most still source their produce from GMO farming. Hmm. Why Monsanto-owned brands have a bad reputation? You can pause the video and read this if you like. Monsanto companies do not buy. It's the same list. Pretty much the same list. Pepsi, Pillsbury, Pop Secret, Coca-Cola, Frito, General Mills, Green Giant, Healthy Choice. It's the same list. And they don't, they don't put the disclaimer owned or using GMO seeds. This is just another list of Monsanto-owned companies.